Hey, welcome back everyone, Toys just here, and I'm back yet again with yet another news update for you. Today we're going to be talking about some new McFarlane Toys reveals. Reveals in the sense of they were officially unveiled at San Diego Comic-Con 2023 during the McFarlane Toys panel. But I'm very happy to say that the Batman 66 line will be continuing. If you haven't seen my videos before on the Batman 66 line, besides... Let's say the NECA Toys cartoon TMNT, the Batman 66 line is amazing. It is one of my favorite lines to collect. The amount of world building from the play sets to the vehicles to the character selection, it is a lot of fun. And truly, they are retro toys in the sense of they all look like they came from that particular era. Right down to the articulation, the cape, the sculpts. Everything is stellar. Now, of course, there are some things here and there. I'd love for them to change, namely the capes. But again, the fact that the line is continuing and they're kind of delving now into the larger world that's been created in recent years from the animated movies to the comic book tie-in for Batman 66. I would love for them to complete other villains. Bookworm, of course, Louis the Lilac goes on and on. But I just am overall very happy that the line is continuing because, well, in so many ways, how much further can they go? But they've certainly found a way. And I'm happy to say that there is interesting character selection. Before we get started, if you are interested in any of these figures, I will have links down in the description below. Thanks for using my links. Helps the channel to grow, yada yada. First and foremost, this one's going to be kind of one of those, especially in the context of what DC has done, McFarlane Toys has done in recent years, recent action figures. It's the Joker as Batman, but they call him Joker Man in Batman 66. Now, this is not going to be one of those that gets super high up on my list, but it's different, it's weird, it fits within the context of the wackiness. That is Batman 66, but this is through and through from the Batman 66 comic book involving a story where... It's another Joker scheme. He takes over as Batman, essentially, and then Batman and Robin quit for a little bit. That's how that show went, right? It makes no sense a lot of the times, but it's kooky, weird, fun. Now, I do like that they've seemingly changed the cape a bit. It looks look a little bit more superpowers-ish with the C-clip, but then it does kind of look like the taffeta-type material that we see on the Batmans and the Robins, right? So... I'm at odds with that. I wait to be seen uh, while it's in hand. He does come with one accessory. He's got a great sculpt to it. That's another thing. With the limited articulation, I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but I don't mind it because I like a cool retro-styled figure. But then again, you world-build everything on your collection, and it turns into quite an amazing collection. Now, the only accessory he has is the key to Gotham City. So at least there's something. At least they've skewed the biff pow bang wows right all that is uh, seemingly gone there's a few changes here and there new head sculpt you get the cape he's got a new little joker belt and everything else so there are subtle little differences from the very many joker releases that we have seen thus far this is yet another one but it makes for an interesting figure now this will not be detrimental to your collection if you chose to ignore it and it's definitely not one from the show but equally it's as bizarre as the show really is now moving from insane to sci-fi we have the batman robot no it's not going to be this oversized batman robot and to be honest with you when i first saw this cover i thought oh it's it's supposed to be a lot larger no there is a robot batman that exists in the batman 66 comic it was created by professor overbeck and bruce wayne to essentially fight crime to allow Batman and Robin to have a little bit more free time, of course. Well, hijinks ensue, and you could probably guess that the Batman robot uh, kind of goes haywire. But I'm happy to say it looks pretty stellar. This is a completely new mold. I love when they do stuff like this. As wackadoo and out there as it is, I gotta give it to them. It's a completely new sculpt through and through. Even got a new little cape on him. But one thing I want to point out... If you look at the photos, and if you're not familiar with Robot Batman, the photos, the photographer, did show that he's holding what looks like little blast cannons, right? Fire effects. If you look at the artwork, those little cannons are actually jet thrusters for the legs, right? So, through and through, I know they're trying. <laughs> 
But let's pay a little bit more attention, right, to certain things, because when you clearly look at the sides of the Batman robot, well, he's got the little portholes right there. And yes, again, those are little thrusters. And as the photos show, yeah, you could totally use those as a gun flamethrower sort of deal. But it's not used for that. So just FYI, the Batman robot looks to be a little bit taller, hopefully, than the Batman and Robin figures, as it should be. doesn't look to be too much taller, but uh, it's a good size, I would say. You could look in the package and see that uh, yeah, he's almost at the tippity top of the plastic clamshell. The backside says Robot Batman, yada, yada. So he does come with two logistical accessories. That's nice to see. So, again, not at the top of my list. Certainly not, like... <laughs> the Joker man, but it's interesting. It's definitely cool. Now this one, I have to say, is definitely a lot of fun. And to be honest with you, it really just does stem from Batman 66 variant covers, right? He doesn't actually appear in the actual comic book, but it is Superman 66. And if you look at the head sculpts, it kind of evokes a little bit of George Reeves, kind of evokes a little Ben Affleck, kind of looks like they're combining the two especially since Ben Affleck played George Reeves in that Superman movie right where it's more about the actor not Superman but this is through and through an old-fashioned looking Superman to be honest with you I would say the head portrait kind of looks like Rami Malek a little bit you know the guy that played Freddie Mercury <laughs> Mr. Nobody a little bit does this Superman have a specific look not really to me. So it's kind of a mishmash, but I think that it fits in the larger context of Batman 66 since I don't have an ideal likeness that I'm geared towards for this particular version of Superman. Now, the accessories include a bunch of kryptonite. I totally like that. A lot of people in the comments have pointed out that this version doesn't have the S shield again on the back of the cape. Well, if you look at the comic, you only see the front of this Superman. So Maybe it's like Superman the Animated Series, where I go back and forth with liking the S-Shield on my Superman capes. If you go Animated Series, no, he didn't have that. If you go comic book, yes, he has that. When it comes to this Batman 66 one-off Superman character, I'm really not going to be too upset by that. I'm more interested in just putting this classic retro-looking figure with my retro-looking Batman. So in that sense, I like the accessories. The head portrait is what it is. I'm not going to get too hung up about it based on my thoughts that I've just presented. But it looks pretty cool. And I like a good classic look at Superman. In all honesty, this is probably one of the best Supermans that they've done thus far. From DC Multiverse to Batman 66 to Superpowers, right? So you see them all boxed up, yada yada. So if you like them, I will have links down in the description below. Now, those are all great, mind you. But... This one in particular is one that I have specifically asked for in my Batman 66 videos. And this is Lord Deathman, or you could just call him Deathman, but he hails from the Batman manga series, which can also correlate with the Topps trading cards back in the day. So if you have that Topps trading cards box set, the tin from Target, then essentially you would have this version of Batman and Robin that would go really well with this new version of Lord Deathman. And I'm absolutely stoked on this figure. Never in a million years would I ever thought they would do Lord Deathman. It was kind of like, here's hoping, right? But they did it. They nailed it. It looks fantastic. I love the cape on him. They got the skulls, the bones, everything looks awesome. And me being a fan of manga versions of Batman and Spider-Man, right? This just is right up my alley. Now, seemingly, if you look at the feet, it does look like they're using the Riddler loafer shoes, boots. He doesn't kind of like, in the comic, he kind of has more like boots, boots, right? But um, again, I can't believe they, they did this. So I'm, I'm thoroughly stoked. This is now the number one figure I'm looking forward to for the fall. This looks absolutely killer. I am so stoked on this. And the fact that you have, like, you can even use the black and white Batman and Robin, right? That would look really cool with this particular Lord Deathman, right? So like I said, get the Topps trading card tin that uh, has all those different variants of the Batman around. That goes with them too. So I'm stoked overall. This is very cool. It comes with a sword. This is a this is a great addition to the Batman 66 and all the other characters aside, right? 
totally wackadoo, but uh, out of all of them, yeah, this is at number one. So, that will wrap it up for my look at the brand new McFarlane Toys Batman 66 lineup. Keep in mind, for those of you maybe just getting into the line now, again, I'll have links down in the description below if you want any of these figures, but they will be reissuing Batman, Robin, and the Batmobile. So, you can kind of jump in now, right? It's a good jumping on point. There are a few characters you're going to have to go back and get, a lot of which eventually hit clearance. This line is not for everyone's taste, but if you are into old school Batman, Batman 66, Adam West and the like, man... I'm telling you, this is a fantastic toy line from the vehicles to the play sets to the overall world you get to build out. This is the best toy line that McFarlane Toys is doing right now. So, you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Batman 66. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, now, uh, you know, off the top of my head, let's, let's like do Bookworm, Mad Hatter, Louis the Lilac. There's a lot. I would love a goon pack, too. You got to get some goons in there. I think that would be awesome. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Adios.